a very good morning students uh, today we are going to see two topics in two videos separate videos first is archaic words this archaic words we have met last year also last to last year also we know about these words something and uh, hopefully everybody remembers that but many students may not remember what is exactly archaic words so i'm going to explain it today uh, archaic words archaic words means what archaic words means in ancient english language some words were used in those days in ancient days in old days nowadays those words are not used in regular day to day language uh why these words are not used there might be a question for you actually whenever the language proceeds ahead new words are added up in the language and old words are removed from that usage of language this is the reason perhaps or uh, these words which are archaic words they were used by people of britain during that time and the world does not know about this so might be lacked behind those words reason can be anything as the language goes ahead every time dictionary is expanded every day new words are uh, mixed in those words so old fashion words archaic means what old fashion english words uh we meet these words generally through poems why through poems only uh they are found in prose also but in very rare cases generally most of the times 90% they we, we get them in the poem section poetry section and why this one happens have you thought about that sometime no fine i'll tell you the reason the poets which we meet through our textbook if you have observed carefully these poets are world famous poets in english or other european literature world famous i am not saying only to say they are actually world famous poets and from 8th standard onwards their their literature is given to you for studying these all poets are well known very famous renowned and these poets if you observe they are from that era ancient era and during that era in day to day language they might be using these words and so they have written the poetry in the same language so archaic words generally come do occur in poetry section uh, here are very few which uh, commonly we get through these are not all if you are interested to find out how many archaic words are there they are thousands of words which we do not use nowadays and surprisingly many of the words which we do not know even that they are in english we don't know about this if you are uh, curious to know just uh, go and meet our google guru and ask him archaic words you will find out there are many words hundreds of words which are considered as archaic words today we are going to see only few of them and be very uh, attentive here you have to learn these meanings or you have to remember these meanings any one of these you can do here but this is very important section so i am explaining through video it's not a casual thing to take fine students so let us see one by one which are the meanings of these archaic words ready fine let's see one by one first word is cause c o z cause what comes in your mind cause means because no see here what is the meaning of cause cause means cousin in whatsapp language you write some words this way they are not considered archaic please do remember they are your own language words 
so please do not uh, mix up these two concepts uh, generally you may be writing in because section coz cause but cause meaning is cousin next er is not er er means before we have met this word uh, last year in some poem it was uh, then nai nai means no hither hither last year under the greenwood tree we have come through these two words hither means here hither means there then tis this word has also come tis tis means it is uh, almost a contracted form and a, an archaic word it is the mixture of the, these two then die this is commonly found word die die means your the the means you thou thou means also your so die and thou means your the means you one more cast is not cannot do remember cast means cannot is not the concept cast means can then bedlam and beldam look at these two very carefully bedlam and beldam spellings are similar you may get confused 100% guarantee in these two but do remember these two bedlam means an asylum asylum means uh, uh, where some patients are treated uh marathi meaning i'll tell you afterwards what what is that marathi meaning of that uh, then bedlam means an asylum beldam means an old woman and finally ban ban means poison have you ever heard this word ban for poison no this is now fully gone away from the english language and so these types of words are known as archaic words i think that you have understood the concept well and will study properly learn all these meanings and till next time bye